without an author. The key point here is we didn't have an author. Okay, secondary sources. Again, just like the APA, we discourage uh, secondary sources. Secondary sources is you find information through some other source. So you read an article, that article cites another paper. Maybe you're too lazy to find the first paper, so you just use the second paper, copy what they wrote. No, you can't do that. You need to always find your original sources if you're going to cite them. However, there are some cases where you may need to say, I found this information in another paper, not the original paper. And here is an example. Allport's diary as cited in Nicholson 132. So as cited, I found it in another article. That article was by Nicholson on page 132. Personal communications such as email. Whoa, 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 cut, 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 going back. But So if you do use a secondary source, such as this example, you would use similar to APA as cited in. So I read this paper here by Nicholson, but Nicholson was saying something about Allport. I cannot find Allport, but I can find Nicholson. So Nicholson talked about Allport on page 132. So as cited in this paper on page 132, the information about all ports. A little bit confusing, but I think the main point is avoid secondary sources. Try not to use them.